Okay, good afternoon class. So at this point we're looking at the grade 11, the paper you guys have written. And at this point you got your memo in front of you as well as your script. Okay. Everybody got a copy of the question paper? Huh? Yes, okay. So this was the grade 11, control test 1, 2023 from our school. Alright, so question one, at any point if you didn't understand or you're confused about something, you can let me know and I'll try and clarify it as well, okay? So the first question is solve for x, so we've got 2x minus 3 into x plus 4 is equal to 0. Already it's in the 0 factor rule, um, um, form, not so, it's already factorized plus in factor form. So we say then 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0, okay? So we solve for x, so x is equal to 3 over 2, or x is equal to negative 4. Okay, you guys understand? Any confusion there? Okay. Next, we have x squared minus 14 is equal, um, 14 is equal to 5. So first I must get it in standard form of ax squared, plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we take that 5x over, it then becomes x squared minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0. So it can factorize. If you can't factorize using the trinomial factorization, what do I use? Quadratic formula. Okay? Then I just pass the step, and I then get x is equal to 7, or x is equal to negative 2. You all agree with that? Okay. But let me know if I made a mistake, okay? You got the memo there? Yes. The paper, the question paper and the memo can be found in the description box below, okay? The link to the paper. So we have 5x, we're going to first get it in standard form of x squared plus bx plus c. Normally when you see that corrected to decimal place, we know we must use that for that formula. The formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. So your a value, of course, is 5, which is the coefficient of x squared. Your b value is negative 11, and your c is 4. So you got x is equal to minus b, so it's plus 11, plus minus the square root of 11 squared minus 4a is 5. C is 4 over 2a. That 11 must be negative, but because of the square, it will result in a positive. Okay? Um, I'm not going to put it in there because why? Well, you won't be able to see it because of the mark itself. So, um, we're using the, the formula. So, a calculator 1, 11 plus. And the square root of, I'm not going to put plus minus, I just put plus, or in the next case I'll put minus or minus first, followed by the plus, okay, times 5 times 4, over 2 times 5. So press SD, that gives you 1,74, is that correct? <coughs> so x is equal to 1,74, or, now I don't type the whole thing again into the calculator, I just change what needs to be changed. Okay, so that is indeed minus 1. That gives us 0, 0,46. You all agree with that, people? Alright, 0, 0,46. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay, it's the same sum, no? Here's our favorite, the inequality. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, take 3x over the equal sign. So 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 is to be greater or equal to 0. Again, trinomial, greater or equal to 0. 2x, x, 2, and 1. That's going to give you minus and plus. So you've got critical values here. We don't say x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 2. If you say that, you're going to lose everything there off. Okay? So there's not solutions. Your critical values is negative or often two. Now you can do this without the graph. Okay? 
have the product now. But it just makes it easier having it. So it's going to be negative half and 2. So read the inequality. We are told that 2x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2, which is the parabola, must be greater than 0. So it must be above this line. So is this a, uh, your solution apart or continuous apart? So we say x is less than negative or half or x is greater than 2. However, here's an equal sign as well, so it can be equal in both cases. Okay. Let's carry on. As you can see, we've got the square root of 2x plus 7 equals 4 minus x. So as you can see, the root is already isolated. The root is already on one side. Not so. So what do we do? We square both sides. So that square will cancel the square root. So we have 2x plus 7 is equal to uh, 4 minus x all squared, which is, I'm going to uh, square it out one time. So it's 16 minus 4 times, sorry? Sorry? Nothing. You just want to tell me it's nothing. Okay, nice. Nice of you. So we got 16 minus 8x plus x we get it again in standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's going to be x squared minus 8x minus 2x minus 10x. 16 minus 7 is 9. Is that correct? So that gives us x and x, 9 and 1. Both is negative. So x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 1. But very important, we need to test if it works. Not so... What do we do is we substitute 9 into the left to, to the equation. So we then say 2 times 9 is 18 plus uh, 7 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Not so. And 4 minus 9 is minus 5. So 9 doesn't work. We, press one, uh, we substitute 1 in. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 7 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. And 4 minus 3 is also uh, 4 minus 1 is 3. So 1 works. Okay. All okay with that? Yes. Yes. Nice. Let's carry on with our lives. 1.6. Let me make this a little bit bigger. As you can see, the, the board is not, not playing along. I don't know what the issue is. Alright, so again, we must factorize this denominator here. Okay? So we got 4 over x plus 3 plus x over x minus 1 plus. And that is going to give us uh, x plus 3, x minus 1. We take out 12 as a common factor here. Not 12, um, 2. Then I'm left with, no, 4 can come up. Then I'm left with um, 3x plus 5, which is not going to make a difference to the denominator. No? So um, if, if it would have factorized or cancelled out, it would have been in my favor to factorize it. Can you see that, people? But since it's not, I'm not going to factorize it. Otherwise, if I factorize it, I must multiply it out again, which is not going to make sense. People, what's my LCM? x plus 3, x minus 3. And sorry, x minus 1, my restriction. x cannot be equal to negative 3, or x cannot be equal to negative 1. You guys understand? It cannot be equal to 1. Something happening on the laptop. But anyway, so um, that's that. So we ask ourselves, okay, what is this denominator short thing here to get the LCM? We said x minus 1. What uh, plus, what is that denominator shorting? x plus 3, so it's x into x plus 3. This is shorting, this here. Nothing, so I multiply it by 1. So it's 1 into 12x plus 2. So what I do now is I multiply, get rid of the brackets, it's going to give you 4x minus 4, plus, get rid of that brackets, it's x squared plus 3x, is equal to 12x plus 3. Okay, now, the x is one side, numbers the other side, so it's going to give you x squared, 
4x plus 3x is 7x minus 12x is negative 5x. And remember, when I bring 12 over the equal sign, it becomes negative. Negative 4 minus 20 is negative 24 is equal to 0. Trinomial. Again, if you can't factorize a trinomial, don't keep yourself brave. Use a quadratic formula. Okay, that's not one thing you guys get right most of the time. Use it. So you've got x and 3, and 8 and 3. The bigger one has to be negative. So x is equal to 8, or x is equal to negative 3. So we check the inequality and the, the restriction, and we say that x can't be negative 3. Right? You guys understand? You just put a line there. You don't have to skill it or sketch it out to erase it. Just say x is not equal to negative 3. Okay. Let's go to question 2. Is your simultaneous equations question? Solve x and y simultaneously if 3x plus, uh, 3y plus, um, 3y plus x is equal to 2 and y squared plus x is equal to xy plus y. So, in the first equation, I'm going to make x the subject of the formula. You could make y the subject of the formula, however, it's going to result in you working with fractions. Okay, if you don't mind working with fractions, you love working with fractions, it's fine, you can do it. Okay, you'll get the same solution. Alright, however, I'm not going to keep myself brave. I'm going to make x a subject of the form. So it's 2 minus 3y. Okay. And this, of course, equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. Substitute equation 3 into wherever I see x in equation 2. You're that kind of girl who needs to label the, the equations? You may do so. Okay. So let's go. If we substitute wherever we see x, in the equation now reads y squared plus 2 minus 3y is equal to y into 2 minus 3y or 2 minus 3y times y plus y. Okay. Now it's just a matter of solving for y. Get rid of the bracket. So we've got y squared my plus 2 minus 3y is equal to 2y minus 3y squared plus y. Okay. So we've got y squared plus 3y is 4y squared. We've got negative 3y minus 2y. It's negative 5y minus y. It's negative 6y plus 2 equals 0. Is that correct? Now we divide throughout by 2. So it's going to be 2y squared minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Again, you can either use the quadratic formula or trinomial factorization so it's 2y 1 y and 1 both is negative so y will be a half or y is equal to so what I do from here is I need to solve the value for x so if I substitute remember it's going back into that equation there okay let's pull this up here so we have x is equal to uh, 2 minus 3 times a half, which is uh, 4, it's going to be a half, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Or, on the other hand, x is equal to 2 minus 3 times 1, which is Okay. Do you guys understand? Yes, my girl. I think you're going to ask me something mathematical. Make quick. Stop the video and start again. 